Welcome to my System Autoresponder tutorial where I'm going to show you how to set up an autoresponder in System. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along I will leave my link down below and if you click that you can either test out System for free or simply use that for easier login access. Let's begin. So first things first you just want to make sure that you have a funnel set up with it's going to be a squeeze page and a thank you page because when someone opts in they're going to get the ability to opt in and obviously get your autoresponder emails. As a very quick example I just put these together very quickly. So we we have our squeeze page here so they would enter their email then they would get taken to the thank you page which looks like this and then obviously they can start getting the autoresponders so what we want to do is once we have that set up basic stuff we're going to go to the uh, emails right here and then simply campaigns campaigns is just another way of saying autoresponders in case you were wondering so I'm going to start from scratch let's do create let's give it a name and description so it's going to be called social media marketing. This is just related to social media. Let's click on save. Obviously name it whatever you want there. And we can click on it right here to get going. Let's do create. All right, so I have a very quick subject line here. We have our sender name and our email. And I just put classic editor. I like that, it's just basic and simpler. More chances of staying out of the spam box. So let's click on save. And from here, very simply, we're gonna have our subject line. We're gonna have our preview. So this is gonna be a little bit extra that your subscribers get to see in their inbox. So they'll see welcome and unveil your free gift. And then there'll be a little bit extra. This is good at adding something enticing. Maybe it's more of a curiosity based thing. So you can play around with that if you want. If not, it's just gonna use the beginning of the body text. So what I did here is I went to chat GPT. I just had it write an email for me. And I'm just going to copy this in. This is less about what you're going to be putting in your emails and more about how you do it overall. So as a token of our appreciation, we're excited to present you with exclusive access to our free gift, nine must tools for SMM. Let's go down here. I'm going to do like click here to download your free gift now because they're like opting in to get a lead magnet, you know, their free gift. So this is where the link would be. I'm just going to do www.aol. That's not AOL.com. Disclaimer, don't send your traffic to AOL. They have plenty of it. Just an example of where your gift would go. This would be you signing off, okay? Nothing long, nothing crazy, but if they're opting in to get a gift, you're literally giving them that, you know, telling them what they're going to be receiving in their next emails and so on and so forth. So attachments, if there's anything you wanted to utilize, you can, but I usually just like linking to a free gift and that's going to be pretty good to go. So we can do save and test. We can do save and save and publish. Let's go with save and publish. And from here, choose after which email to add this one. Since this is gonna be the first one, we don't need to do anything. This is the absolute first email. So delay before sending, we want zero days. So when they opt in, they're gonna immediately be getting this. And this is exactly what we want in the first email. So let's do activate. And perfect. So we can go back to our campaigns. And here again. Okay, so that's gonna be the first email. What we wanna do is create another one. All right, so unlock YouTube's power for your business. We have our subject line, name, email, same thing once again. Let's click on save. And once again, I do have another chat GPT email. Just gonna put this very quickly down here, copy it and paste it in. Cheers, your name, we do cans, sure. And you know, just a very basic email here, you know, and so on and so forth. So obviously what you put in the email is up to you. Very easy to figure out. We have our subject line. If you want to use a little bit of a preview, you can use some of these personalizations if needed, but I think it's going to be good. I just want to show you what it's going to look like when you go to save and publish after your first email. So let's do that now. So it says choose after which email to add this one. So given the fact this was our first email, we want to have it go after that one. Okay. And then from there, how many days do we want to delay, you know, before sending out? We don't want to do immediately. Then there's going to get immediate email. So this can be one day, can be two days, can be three. Personally, depending on, you know, how often you want to put emails in your autoresponder, I've done them as much as every day. You got to really crank out emails that way. But, you know, every two days is fine as well. I'd say either one of those. So let's say we want wanted to do a delay of two days and activate. Okay, let's go back to our social media marketing campaign. So this is going to be sent out immediately. And then two days after that is going to be sent out the next one. And I'm just going to do one more just to show you like how it would continue on because I think you'll get the idea, right? So let's do create. Okay, we have social media superpowers for our subject line. And for this, I'm just going to keep it blank. You know, you get the idea. Email goes here, but this is going to be the third email just to kind of show you how it works. So let's say everything is done there. Let's do save and publish. And so now this one wants to be sent after 
our previous one. Remember, this was on day zero. This was on day two. Okay, and days delays before sending email after that one. So how many more days we want to do? We could do two. Maybe you want to do three. It's really up to you, but we can do two here. And also just keep in mind, so given the fact it's going to be sent after this one goes out, the delay is going to be after that email in case that it wasn't clear enough. Let's do activate. And we can go back here. So there you go. This is going to get sent out immediately, two days later, two days later. So I think you get the idea about how that can just expand and continue on. Now, there is one more important thing that we need to do. So let's go to that funnel that we originally had when it has the squeeze page and the thank you page. All right, so here's our autoresponder funnel. This is going to be the squeeze page here, and there's something we need to edit on this. So what you want to do is when that funnel step is highlighted, so I clicked on it right here, we want to go to automation rules. We want to do add rule. We want to do funnel step form subscribed. And from there, let's go over the three dots here and simply do edit automation rule. From there, we want to add an action. And here is what we want to do, subscribe to campaign. Remember, campaign is just another way of saying autoresponder. And that campaign that we created, what's going to happen is that when they opt in, it triggers them to start getting emails from this. So let's do that. And let's choose our campaign. We have that social media marketing one there and simply save rule. And just like that, we have done everything that we needed to do in terms of setting up our campaign or autoresponder, whatever you want to call it. Then, of course, we set up the automation rules so that anytime someone opts into this specific squeeze page, that whole flow will get going. They will get that email automatically in the beginning, then two days later, another one, then two days later. It's really up to you how many days you want to do apart, but that's going to be the tutorial about how you can set up an autoresponder in system.io. Hope you got some value out of this, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. In case you haven't gotten the test out system, I will also have my link down below where you can get free access. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.